Welcome back to the channel everybody. I am Florida Boy. This is my EDC channel. Today's video is going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, we have our monthly box from Dan. <laughs> He's made a habit of sending me like once a month. And um, I have the top of this box open. I'm just going to show the bottom here for a second. Uh, it's got postage on the side and the top. And instead of destroying the box, I just went ahead and pre-opened it off to the side here. So let's get into it. All right, so if this is your first time seeing this, Dan always surprises me with a bunch of stuff <laughs> and it's always, it's always pretty awesome. Um, you can probably hear my wife jamming in the background. She's doing a little bit of cleaning and getting ready for my mom's birthday party tonight. Uh, yeah, my birthday's on the 4th and my mom's is on the 24th. So May's a fun month for us. All right, so we have a note here. And it says, hey, brother, me again. This one I tried to keep to a theme with it being your birthday month. I can I can guess what the theme is. <laughs> My birthday's on the 4th. May the 4th be with you. I hear every year. <laughs> so I'm sure uh, I'm taking a wild guess, but I'm sure. Um, yeah, okay. May the 4th be with you and all of us. Press the chest plate on the keychain to turn on the light. I have no idea if it will stay on or just while you hold it because I don't read directions. Me neither, dude. Uh, the other paper in here is about the knife, but for fun, maybe read it after you. Okay. <laughs> a few things just for the heck of it. Hope the puppy is safe and better. Of course, wishing you and your wife a happy and safe thumb. Thank you, Dan. She is doing better. She went and had her, uh, she went and had her follow up yesterday and, um, she's doing good. They put her on a muscle relaxer, my dog, not, not my wife. They put her on a muscle relaxer. Um, they said that she's healing pretty good, but we still need to keep her off of furniture. I don't know if this is going to fit. Yeah, see, this doesn't, it doesn't fit under here. But just to give you an idea of this box, here we go. I already see a couple things. I see a Civivi and a Kaiser. Um, let's get some of this newspaper. Oh, there's stuff. Hold on. There's stuff wrapped up in the newspaper. Hold on. Hold on. All right, let me go. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, we got some stormtroopers. What is this? Oh my God, it's a flashlight. Uh, wait, wait, he said chest plate. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my God, that is funny. Lego LED light, Lego Star Wars. Dude, these are so cool. Um, so we, we are Star Wars fans in this house. And uh, I, my wife, my wife, not so much Star Wars, but she does love... Um, uh, but Mandalorian, I mean, most, most people love Mandalorian, but she's, she's a huge baby Yoda fan. So she'll get a kick out of these. She, uh, she knows stormtroopers just because, um, a little bit from the Mandalorian and, you know, I had to do some, drop some knowledge on her, uh, more newspaper, get that out of the way. Let's see. I, I wish I could angle, I wish I could angle a little better. Um, that's okay. I'll just pull stuff out of the box. We got some stickers. This one's funny. <laughs> where is this? Where is this one from? I don't recognize that. This is definitely E-Knives. I love E-Knives. E-Knives is excellent. Um, oh wait, we got some, we got a couple more little things here. What do we got? I'm doing the small stuff first because the <laughs> he always, he always blows my mind with the big boxes. This is a Renegade Hank. Let's see. I haven't had a Renegade Hank. Oh, dude, that is sick. Oh, check that out. We got Darth Vader, Stormtroopers. This is sick. Was that, was that Luke and Darth Vader? This is dope. <laughs> I actually, you know what? I have, uh, no, I don't have any Renegade Hanks. These feel really nice. The leather patch is a nice touch too. We all know how I'm going to feel about leather patches. <laughs> um, what do we got here? A Viking coin. Looks like you put a little bit of a, a little bit of a note in here. Let's see. Uh, we'll 
Okay, we'll look at the card first, and then we'll look at the coin, and then the note. Carbidium, EDC. Oh, that's cool. So, fun fact, um, I actually, I've actually done a little bit of, uh, oh man, this is, is this brass? Is that what I read? Was brass? It is brass. Oh, this is super nice. This, I am going to do my best to not want to take this out of the, out of the holder. <laughs> I 100% want to yeah okay so this will pop out so i 100 percent want to carry this in my pocket and i will try to do it with it still in this case but it may come out of this and may just go straight into my pocket dude this is this is super sweet so um i bet a lot of people on here have no idea but i do i love coins uh i do i have actually kind of a, a normal coin collection not just like edc coins i have a little bit of a normal coin collection uh, it's something me and my grandpa have done for a long time. Um, he's definitely more hardcore than I am, but uh, I, I do and I do enjoy coins. What do we got here? Runic alphabet. Uh, oh, I was gonna say um, I actually did do uh, one of those. What is it? The not the ancestry, um, but where you find out about like your last name and stuff. And uh, mine is some kind of viking i'm not going to plaster my last name all over the <laughs> all over um youtube not yet anyways but uh i do i do have some kind of i can't remember what it was like sue viking no um I'll, I'll try to remember here in a second uh, i've actually got like a family crest and everything it's pretty cool um textured brass viking rune spell out go forth with strength and speed viking rune surrounding mm, vegvisor Spell out, may your path be true. Carpidium Viking Brass Travel Coin or Wayfinder. There we go. <laughs> On one side that is said to have been used to help travelers find their way in rough weather. The other side shows Odin, and the Norse god of wisdom, riding on the eight-legged horse. That's super creepy. <laughs> An eight-legged horse. Does it show it on this? Is that what it was referring to? Oh, yeah, it does. I don't know if you can make it out. There's Odin's head. There's the horse. Oh, see? So, oh man, I couldn't, I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just, it almost looked just like scribing, like almost like gears or inner workings. I didn't even realize that's what it was. Um, That's Odin riding an eight-legged horse. That would be terrifying. <laughs> Could you imagine seeing that in real life? Uh, each coin is minted in the USA by a company with over 40 years. Okay, sweet. So this is also USA made. That, that is super, super cool. Super cool. Uh, I, I really, really like that um, a lot, actually. <laughs> I always like everything you send me, but that that is super awesome. Um, Symbatech card colory. Made in Solingen? I don't know where that is. You know, card card stuff is becoming huge right now, and uh, I really need to put some more of it on my channel. Um, a lot of people are carrying around like those card uh, lock picks and stuff. Um, this is cool, but I'm trying to figure out. It looks like you just slide it. Slide? Surely it doesn't have that much retention. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> what am I? What am I? What am I messing up here? Do I squeeze? No. What do I? Oh God. Um. Hold on. Hold on. It it does say slide up, right? Or do you slide? Do you slide the the card? No. Why am I having such a problem with this? What, what am I? What is this? Does that say anything? <laughs> no. Um, um, technical, technical difficulties. It, it moves a little whenever I slide it, but it's, is it getting hung up on something? What am I, what am I doing wrong here? <laughs> mm, okay. All right. Um, I got this. I got this. We've got... No? <laughs> Still no? What am I... 
Well, there it goes. <laughs> I don't. Um, there's probably an easier way to do that, or it was it was hung up on something and I didn't I didn't catch it. That's actually pretty sharp. I mean, that's probably not like like paper cutting sharp, but um, that's definitely sharp. I don't want to cut anything on my desk. I was not prepared for that. Um, paper. It does. It does cut paper. It's just a little, a very, very tiny, like, little drop point. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I love stuff like this because um, we work we work pretty long hours sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. And uh, most of the time I have to order in food. And sometimes they don't bring me utensils. So uh, if anybody has watched, like, what I carry in my EDC bag, I carry chopsticks. So this is cool. This is uh, this is something that I'll definitely slide in there too because you can't eat everything with chopsticks, especially some things that come in and they're not already pre-cut. Um, okay, I'm afraid to slide this back in here. My hands feel shaky. I haven't ate anything yet. Um, like I said tonight's my mom's birthday party. We're going all going out to dinner. And, uh, it's like, I don't have my watch on either. It's like noon. I haven't ate yet. All I've had is an energy drink and a half. So a little shaky. <laughs> okay. What do we got? Um, any other little things? No. Okay. So the rest are big boxes. Uh, so we'll grab this first. And I was thinking about this, um, because when I normally receive the old Dan boxes, uh, usually I read what's on the side of whatever the box is, and then uh, and then I kind of have an idea. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to open this. Because there's been a couple times where he sent a box, and I read what was on the side, and I, kind, I, I almost remembered what it was, or at least kind of had an idea. And this time we're just going to do complete surprise. So, we have a Kaiser. And what is this? Okay, we've got a lot of extra hardware, so that's super cool. What is this? <laughs> this is super square. Um, oh, we got a backspacer. I don't know. Okay, I love the design. Is this? This is a double detent. Oh, that's cool. Or is it slip joint? No. Double detent, right? I think. What is this? Hold on. Hold on. What is this? This is V25. Okay. No, it doesn't, doesn't tell me. Steel liner, black and white G10, N690. Ah, this is, this is, I, I see, I see where we went though. I see, I see we are stormtrooper still. So I, yes, yes, I am getting the theme and I love it. This is actually super cool though. This is a nice little utility blade. And that's not a front flipper, right? Oh, it is. Nice. Okay. It's kind of, it's a little, it's a little small. So it takes me a second to make sure I've got a good grip. There we go. It's not small. I've just got big hands. This, <laughs> this is super cool. Um, I don't know what the model of this is. But uh, we will we'll do like a normal a normal like unboxing and video of like everything in Dan's the box that Dan sends me. If you never you know you never seen any of these videos from Dan yet, then <laughs> that is super super cool. Um, oh man, this storm! I'm gonna have a stormtrooper load out. So we've got a Civ oh this is a Civivi pen. Uh, all right, so. We don't have to guess at what this is. Is that fit in there? Or was it just laying on top? Oh, it was just laying on top. So I have not had a Civivi pen yet. Look at this thing. This is super light too. This has to be like aluminum. What does it say? Uh, aluminum, yep, black anodized aluminum. Yeah, because this thing is super light. Oh, and the bolt feels really nice. I haven't uh, I haven't tried a CVV pen yet. Is that a glass break? What is this? That must be 
that has to be a glass breaker. Is that what that is? Does it say on the box? Black anodized. No. No. Uh, nothing. Nope. Doesn't tell me. Um, it's probably some kind of carbide glass breaker, but it's rounded, which I like. I hate those tactical pens that have like the pointy tip on the end. It's just asking to get hurt. Let's see. Oh, nice. It takes Schmidt refills. It takes good size Schmidt refills too. Um, real quick, just to give you an idea, here's an open refill. I guess if I held it here, there you go. Give you a good idea. Dude, this pen is freaking sweet. I love pens. I am a, I'm a pen nut. I use, I have to use a pen all day long. Um, so I really, I really, really enjoy, enjoy nice pens. Uh, this is, this I like because it's got flats around the side. So it sits nice. I mean, most pens do because you've got a bolt action or you've got a clip, uh, something to keep it from rolling. But, um, I like it when the pen actually has a flat because then it can lay night, like nice against your hand. You don't have to worry about it rolling too much. Um, so this is a really nice design. We'll, we'll definitely do a full, like a full review on this too. Um, that's one of my favorite things. Anytime, anytime Dan sends one of these boxes, I do like the unboxing of the box on the channel. Um, and then there's so much more content we can make out of all of this because then, you know, we got to do like an actual unboxing with comparisons and then we have to do like an updated review. Um, and it just, you know, Dan, Dan, Dan's a really good friend, but he also, he also is absolutely supporting the channel. So that's, that's awesome. Um, okay. So next this box says dagger. Uh, yeah. So I've never even heard of this. So looking at the box is not going to give anything away. <laughs> not for me anyways. So we got a plain box and there you go. There's your model number. Uh, all right. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my God. What does that say? Instagram at dagger knives. And I don't know. Oh, we have some kind of extra, extra screw in here. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, I, this thing is huge. I don't know if the, the recording is going to do it any justice. Um, <laughs> uh holding it like that feels a little little sus uh here look at this look at this look um this the handle is almost six inches <laughs> so it looks like we have a, a flipper here um and a, a button lock and the clip look at the look at the clip that is crazy. Look at that. People didn't like Chavez clips. I, I bet there's going to be a lot of people that don't like that kind of a clip. Um, okay. So we're going to, I'm going to try to swing this at an, a weird angle because this blade, I can see the blade is huge. <laughs> Dude, what even is this? <laughs> okay. So this thing is, um, I, I mean, this, this is, you see this, this is like almost 11 inches. If, if you, uh, if you measure in the glass breaker, this thing, I thought the MSI was big. Wait, what was that? That doesn't feel like a normal button lock. Is that a button lock? Maybe it is. Maybe it's just because the blade's so big. It's so heavy. Look at this thing. And I see, I see the Stormtrooper 323 D2. Where, where, it doesn't say, uh, does this say anywhere where this is made? I see milled, milled liners. Mm, no makers, Mark. Uh, yeah, uh, I have, I have no idea. I mean, is it, you can, man, that finger toil is nice too. You can really choke up, but look how much is left whenever you choke up. Look at this. This thing is nuts. Um, hold on. I'm going to look, I'm going to look. Okay. So the, the note about the knife, 
I forgot um, that he said read the note after the knife, and then I, I was starting to think it was this one, but it is the dagger knife. Um, let's see, dagger knives, Nestor Stormtrooper, white G10. Uh, here we go, Nestor. Very really similar, blah, blah, very similar to dagger's first push button liner lock knife. The pair it, but features a single edge dagger blade instead of a spear point. Yeah, this thing, this thing is mean. Uh, keep your fingers out of the path of the blade while making it extremely easy to close with one hand. This lock design also features a lock pin that converts this folding knife into a fixed blade. Oh, there it is. Oh, that is, that is cool. Hold up. So that's what that is. Oh. <laughs> so you can you can tighten this bad boy down right there yep and then if you it's not gonna go anywhere huh that's freaking cool so this thing's probably a tank um uh where was i just undo the screw by the lanyard loop and place it in the hole screw by the lanyard loop wait this one? I'm so confused. So, so it's got, does it have two? Is that what's going on here? Because that's the lanyard loop. So what was this one for? Hmm. Okay, let me move that. Um, so this, I'm going to guess, this little split ring on here is for turning and then okay so that pops out and we have we have a little bit of threads on there okay so what what probably what this is is so that's cool so it's always on the knife you don't have to actually carry that extra screw that's great so probably what this is, is if you wanted to carry this as a fixed blade all the time Yep, you could probably just leave that there, screw that in, or vice versa. And there you go. You could just have a normal fixed blade. I know some places some places have laws against that. Um, certain folding knife sizes and yada yada. So that could be why that's included. This thing is freaking sweet. Um, I love gigantic, ridiculous, no, <laughs> you know, I say no nonsense, but nonsense knives. Um, especially things that are like super overbuilt, uh, just, they, they speak to me. Let me put this screw back here so I don't lose it because I absolutely will. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to carry something this big. I know Florida is pretty lax and there's absolutely no reason to carry this other than it's freaking cool. <laughs> okay. Hold on. All right. Hold on. We were almost to the end. Um, converts into a fix, just undo the screw by the lanyard loop and place it in the hole by the finger groove while your blade is open. Now you have a full size fixed blade that can fold up to fit anywhere. Deep carry pocket clip. Yes. Um, makes this large <laughs> knife disappear in your pocket. As long as your pockets aren't, sh aren't too shallow. <laughs> um, equipped with a glass breaker. Yep. Saw that screaming skull on the pocket clip. Yes. Yeah. The screaming skull is super, super sick. There it is. That's why I said the thing about the Chavez knives. Dagger Knives is a newer company based out of Russia. Okay. They make unique knives like you've never... Or wait, like they've been at it much longer for more Dagger Knives. Russia. That's why this thing is freaking ridiculous. <laughs> that is super cool. And you know what's really cool is... Okay, so... Um, I don't know the age and whatnot of, of that company, but what's something that I noticed right off the bat, especially when I was looking for like made here, you know, yada, yada, there's not a lot of, uh, billboarding at all. D2 looks like the birth date and the brand dagger. That's it. And the logo is there next to the brand. That's awesome. That's awesome. Look at those. Oh, well, you know what? We still got more in the box. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> um, let's do... What is this? A light. Oh, dude. 
Dan. All right. So this is the Baton 3 Pro. Um, I, I regretted not buying the white one. I bought the copper one and some other stuff, but I did not get the white one. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and open it up and add it with our Stormtrooper stuff we've got going on. Oh, this is so cool. So I definitely know a little bit about this light. What, um, what does this tell me? Which, if I remember correctly, there was, you could get different temperatures. It's okay. We'll know pretty fast. This is the Baton 3 Pro and it matches cool white. There it is. And this matches my Stormtrooper loadout. I'm going to have to have a Stormtrooper loadout now. Yep. Mm hmm that's okay that's easy to do now <laughs> and I've got the black pin that matches to go with the white flashlight dude Dan this is so cool man uh, no one has ever given me a whole like stormtrooper I mean especially in EDC but just like a whole stormtrooper styled like gift multiple gifts there we go cool white on the Baton 3 Pro, which is an excellent, excellent, excellent flashlight, by the way. If you missed out on the Baton 3 Pros, um, I believe they're still on the website, but man, such good flashlights. So good. Uh, we've got one more thing, and it is a giant Spyderco box. And that's the last thing that's in our box. So let me move this out of the way. Uh, yeah, we're not going to check. Let's just Let's just open it. See the big box. Um, I I don't have a lot of Spider Coast stuff, so I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's a fixed blade. What do we got? Move this out of the way. I'm, I got so much stuff on my desk. Um, ooh, look at this. What is? What is this? Hold on. This is the Bow River. Bow River. I don't know if I've ever seen this. This this feels like a super, super high-end, like, kitchen cutlery knife. What does that say? Phil Wilson. Uh, maybe the designer? I don't know. <laughs> See, this thing, the polish on this is excellent. Very nice belt satin, looks like. And some G10 handles. The sheath is super nice too. Oh, dude, this thing is this thing is actually super sweet. This will make a night. Well, what what skill is this? Eight CR, eight CR. Yeah, that'll probably make a nice little kitchen knife. Maybe, maybe. Does eight CR? No, eight CR isn't full stainless. Is it? No, no, it's not full stainless. I don't know. I'll have to uh, I'll have to kind of read about that. I want to open the blades real quick. So you can see the sizes <laughs> next to this. I didn't. I wasn't putting it away yet. There we go. Sounds like my wife changed <laughs> the style of music she was listening to. It's kind of all over the place. So look at the size difference. I just wanted to show you this. So here's a little pocket Kaiser. <laughs> and here's the Bow River. Because I know some people watching this are huge on Spyderco and probably have a good idea how big this knife is. Even though I did not know how big it was. This is that dagger knife. <laughs> so just to give you an idea of the knife sizes. This thing is super sweet. Does this have any info? Bow River. Okay, Phil Wilson is an avid outdoorsman. Construction 10. I'm not going to make you guys read all of this with me. I know that would probably be pretty boring. Um, no, I was just curious if it said anything about like an intended purpose. Did I look right over it? Uh, just outdoorsman and intended for general utility and outdoor use. Flay knives. Oh, no, that's what the designer is known for is flay knives. Um... I think so. I think this would be, this looks like a, you know, this looks like a, I almost want to say a field dressing knife, but maybe, yeah. Not a lot of wobble. None, no wobble. I don't know why I said not a lot. Um, 
I dig it. I don't know if I'd want to take it out hunting though. Not at least not for that cuz that this is a pretty knife. I love fixed blades. I love 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 fixed blades. And this is a good size. Um I have the sea snake sitting here. Here you go. I just recently did a review on that. You can see the size difference here from the Spider Co. Um dude, Dan, that's so awesome, man. This is awesome. Slide them nice and easy. There we go. <laughs> I say that like I'm not going to put it to work. It's definitely going to see some use. This thing, though, is freaking wild. <laughs> Dagger knives. It makes, a, it makes a really nice flack whenever you uh, swing it around. Probably that giant blade. This is cool that you can, you can kind of do a side thumb roll. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to, eh, I guess you can, you can just flip her on out there. So check this out. We have, oh, you know what? I didn't even realize this is black and white too. That's so what we've got here, <laughs> what we, what we effectively have here is a whole stormtrooper loadout that includes the stormtrooper this is this is a whole this is a whole carry this could be a fidget could could be you know it'd be you could use it as a fidget but mostly you could just put it on your keys and i just smacked my camera but you could just put that on your keys and that could be part of the keys and then you have your fidget or your your coin and of course i should have laid it on here but we also have the hank this is a full carry and eating utensils that's exactly what this is dan put me a carry i would you know what this this will probably be my carry for uh for the next coming up carry video may mm, this this i have to i have to see if it'll fit in one of my other sheets cuz I'm not really supposed to carry, you know, like knives at work. We're supposed to have like company supplied box cutters. And I, I mean, I carry, I carry my knives, but you know, I, I have a, I carry a fixed blade that's scout carry. Um, vertical would probably get noticed. So I'll have to see if maybe I have a sheath that I can scout carry that with. Um, or at the very least, I guess I could slide the whole sheath in my pocket, but it's kind of long. Well, we'll see about this one. I know these I can effectively carry. I need to make sure that it's legal for me to carry this one. <laughs> I think it is. I might be wrong. I I know f I think Florida has a has a length law. I have to I have to I need to look that up. Look up your knife laws. Just be on the safe side. I know some places you can't carry OTFs and people do it anyways. That's a little different. But uh I guess not really different. But you know, I'm not the law. I'm super excited about this Baton 3 Pro and the pen. Um, I didn't see. All right. Just real quick. Just real quick. We'll see how the pen writes because I'm sure people are curious. I mean, let me clear my, let me clear my birthday EDC out of here. <laughs> all right. So. Oh, it writes very nice. It's got a lot of tip. You see that? But this is a... Um, so these Schmidt refills are super nice refills. And it looks like it's just a normal refill. Like you don't have to... Kind of like with Olight. You have to order the Olight refills unless you buy the adapter. And then you can use other ones. Or, you know, if you figure out exactly which refill it would be... It's a lot. So this is cool that this is, um, this is a nice little Schmidt refill. Hopefully, other refills work in it. So, um... Yes. <laughs> oh, look, it just clicked into place. It kind of went down a little bit. There we go. That was weird. Okay. Did I only have it resting halfway, maybe? Maybe I did. Hmm. Oh, that feels a little better. <laughs> Yeah, that feels better. There we go. That's awesome. Awesome. 
dang dan man this is this is super super thoughtful man i i really really appreciate it um all this stuff will see a ton of use my little nephew will probably run off with these little star wars figures that's gonna be my guess he's uh he's gonna see these because they always want to play with my flashlights so these will be cool for them whenever they come over uh dang man I, uh, you know, I always, I always know that you're going to go above and beyond and I still never really expect it. I, I man, I just, you blow me away every time, brother. <laughs> and now that I'm pretty much done recording this video, I need to email you and tell you that I received it and I've opened it and then tell you thank you all over again. <laughs> Dan usually gets two thank yous. He gets a video thank you and then, you know, him and I talk. So I'll, I'll also thank him there too. These are going to go on my gun safe or my my knife safe that is supposed to be a gun safe. You, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. And we have Zahank. One more time. Zahank is super sweet. Renegade Hanks makes great Hanks. If you are in the Hank market or if you don't use them, you totally should have a nice Hank. You can use the outside for pretty much anything. The inside has microfiber, so it's good for cleaning all of your... Um, your electronics, your, you know, in my case, like the camera, my camera screen or camera lens on my phone. If I'm going to do a picture or something for Instagram, I carry a Hank with me at all times, all times. And, um, yeah, this was the super, super epic unboxing. This is a little overwhelmed. I mean, that's <laughs> lost for words, overwhelmed. Um, just super grateful, man. You know, it's, it's, it's awesome to have someone super supportive and you know, that also supports you and the channel like Dan, man, you're the man. Thank, thank you. Thank you for the birthday gift and the, the channel stuff. Always, always. It's awesome. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up because I got to do more recordings and mostly of this stuff so we can do like the actual comparisons and yeah, I've got a, got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. And uh, thank you guys for stopping by, checking out the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, consider subscribing. I post, I try to post every day. I'm, I've been doing pretty good so far. But uh, anyways, thanks again, guys. Catch you on the next one.